hi guys welcome to my channel guys today in this video i am going to show you that how you can make this responsive e-commerce organic food shop website by just using simple html css and bootstrap so here is our website and this website is completely responsive you can see the responsiveness of this website this is very simple website that you can design in 30 to 40 minutes this is very simple and before start designing this website let me just overview this complete website so first of all here we have our navigation bar on the left side here we have our logo in the center here we have our nav links and on the right side here we have our search bar and after that here we have our main section the simple main section with the background image and one heading and after that we have our button more tips with the hover effect and after this section where we have our little section uh, with the iconic images and the names and after that here we have our trending section simple one heading was trending and the small heading and after that here we have four cards with the images of the product and the name of the product and after that here we have our price of this product all these product cards are same if you design one then you can copy and paste the others so you can get the this result and after that here we have one click for more button with the hover effect and after this section here we have our another section simple heading welcome to our agonic food society and one small heading and after that here we have three columns first of all one image and after that one small heading and after that here is our detailed paragraph and all of these three sections are same and in the end here we have our button submit button and after this section here we have our store section first of all one heading and after that one small heading and after that here we have a row of four columns having an product image inside this card and whenever we hover on these cards it creates a background shadow effect the box shadow effect you can see all of these are same you can just change these images by getting this result and after that here we have an, an, another section with the background image and the linear gradient effect on this image with the small heading and i add this font family from google fonts website and after that here we have our small paragraph and in the end here we have our button with the hover effect and after this section here we have our contact us section the very simple contact us section you can see this uh, here we have our first name our email and enter your message and after that one button and in the end here we have our next section first of all one heading join our secret society you have to put your email right here and after that here we have four columns customer care and the others and in the end here we have our social media icons facebook instagram twitter and google plus and after that here we have our copyright section this simple paragraph for the copyright and guys if you are new on my channel then please subscribe to my channel for more videos for such an awesome videos here you can learn a lot of css html and bootstrap by following by practicing my videos so okay guys before starting this uh, website folder first of all here we have our html file one css file and this is the images that we used in our project so okay guys let's get started so okay guys before starting with the bootstrap you have to copy the started template from the get bootstrap website here you have to copy this and paste it in your html file now remove this unwanted content this unwanted links from our file and start building this project so here is our CSS. Let me take this universal tag, padding 0, margin 0, and box sizing is also 0. Whenever you are starting with the CSS, you must have to take this universal tag and these properties. And now let me just link this CSS file in our HTML file. Okay guys. So first of all, we are going to build this navbar, this beautiful navbar. And I take this navbar from the Get Bootstrap website. Here you have to click on the components. In the components you have to click on navbar. In the navbar here we have many types of navbars. You can copy any of one. Right here I am copying this one. And just paste it in our HTML file. Now this is our output. 
and now let me just customize this navbar right here I'm removing the fluid class from the container and the BG light and the navbar light properties And we don't want this nav uh, drop down that's why we are removing this uh, drop down right here we are going to remove this unwanted classes and properties from this nav bar and now you can see the output and now let me just remove and add some more classes this is our navbar brand organic just copy this navbar brand class and paste it in our html and now here we have to design this navbar brand class first of all the font size is 2 rem and the color is black and whenever we hover on this navbar brand class on the logo, it's create an hover effect. Like whenever we hover on this, the background, the text color of this logo will be remain black. And after that, we are going to design our nav links. So copy this nav link class and paste it in your HTML file. Right here, the margin right will be 40 pixel. The margin right is 10 pixel and the margin left is also 10 pixel and the color is black and the text transform is uppercase and after that we have to add the hover effect on this nav links whenever we hover on this nav links and the color of this nav links will remain black And now you can see the output right here. Now we are going to add one more ally. And changing the name of this allies from link to trending store and contact us. And now just copy this one ally and paste it again for the contact. And you can see this is our output and after that let me take one search class inside this input tag because we want to design this search class in our CSS first of all I am taking the height is 40 pixel and the width of this search bar is 80% and the border is uh, 60 pixel the border radius and the outline for this search bar is none and the border will be 2 pixel solid red or anything that you want the RGB color that you want to use right here we are using this RGB color for the border of the search bar and after that I am going to design our button with the class of BTM0 First of all the height is 40 pixel and the width is 40 percent. The outline is none and the border is also none. And now we are going to add the background color. This RGB color for the background of this button. And after that the color of the text will be white. And now you can see the output. <coughs> Let me add the border radius for this button. Right here let me add some uh, padding left and right to inside this search bar. Padding left and right is 2. And now you can see the output. So here is our uh, and inside this search bar let me add margin right is minus 35 pixel because we want this button and search bar collapsed we want to collapse this search bar and button so here you can see the output 
and now I'm going to add the font the font family for this uh, navbar brand for the logo this is the Google font website from here you can uh, get any type of font family for your uh, logo for your text so here I'm copying this one We want to add this uh, font family for our navbar brand just copy this and paste it inside this navbar brand and now copy this uh, link and paste it in your html file inside the header and now you can see our output you can add any type of font family and now we are going to design this main section with the background image and this big heading and after this nav, I am taking one section, the main section, the section with the class of main and inside this section I am taking one container and inside this container I am taking one row and this is the column of uh, 7 and now I am going to design this main section and adding the background image. First of all. The background URL or image and no repetition the background size is cover and the height uh, is 100 pixel VH and the width is 100 person and the background position uh, you can add uh, 50 person and 50 person so here is our output you can see the background image without the text without the heading and button and inside this seven columns now we are going to add our heading and this button now we are going to design this h1 in our css The font size is 4rem and the font weight is 700 and the font family uh, we have to add the font family right here so you can see the output we have to add some padding top inside this uh, main section and the container and after that we have to add one button with the class of btn1 First of all the height is 45 pixel and the width is 35 percent the border is none and the outline is also none and after that we are going to add the background color that we used uh, earlier for this uh, search bar for our btn0 we are going to add the same background color in for our btn1 and after that we are going to add the text color the text color will be white and the font weight will be bold or 700 and the border radius is 60 pixel so now if you see the output here you can see our button And now we are going to add some padding top and bottom inside this container and inside this row and inside is column 7 class as well and the text will be centered and margin top for the button so here you can see this is our output but we have to add some padding top for this heading so that let me add some padding inside this uh, h1 tag I'm taking the class of padding top 4 so you can see this is our output so this is our output is looking very beautiful with the background image and now we are going to design this little section with the iconic images and the names so after this section 
I am taking are another section. The section with the class of new and inside this section I am taking container and also one div with the class of row. This is the grid system of the bootstrap. This uh, it's create the responsiveness for the web page. I am taking six columns and inside this six column I am also taking one row. And inside this row I am taking three columns of four four columns. And inside that I am taking our iconic image. And whenever you are using bootstrap in your uh, whenever you are using boot image in your bootstrap you have to cop you have to use the image fluid class and after that I am taking one heading 6 and just copy and paste all of this and also change the images that you are going to use in this uh, project guys if you want the source code then please uh, uh, share your email address I will send you all the source code with the images and also the files and now if you see the output we get this all images inside the center and let me add the text center property so we can get the names of this uh, images will in the center and after that we are going to design this trending section after this trending after this uh, new section this is our new section after this I am taking the class of uh, the section with the class of product with the one div with the class of container and one row and inside this row I am taking this four columns with the column of uh, for the large screen is three and inside that I am taking uh, first of all uh, before this one row I am taking one another row for this heading and for this small heading inside this row I'm taking five columns because we want these five columns in the center we will also add the margin auto prop class inside this column 5 so this is our h6 we have to add some style some color you can use this inline CSS in your HTML file Using this uh, margin auto property inside the row, instead of using inside the row, you have to use this uh, inside the column class. So here is our output. You can see our output. And now let me just add some font size inside the H1 tag for the H1 because we want this H1 uh, with the font weight of 700. And after that here comes on our another section for the row with the columns of 633 three, the four columns the images the product images for that I am taking one card class and inside the card we are taking the card body right here we are using the bootstrap cards and inside the cards the card body we are going to take one image so here is our image with the card the border of on this card you can use the border zero class inside this card tag and the bg light so here is our output you can see the output without the shadow the box shadow effect and now i am going to add the name of this product and the price for this product so before after this card card div i am taking the h6 heading energy food for the name of this product and also the price for this product so you can see this uh, our output but we want this name and the price in the center so here I'm using the text center class so you can see this is our output now you have to add some padding or margin bottom too so here is our output And now just copy this uh, complete columns and paste it four times so you will get this uh, result 
and now just change the images you have to change the images and the name of the images you can use any type of image right here that you want but if you want the source code and the images you can email you can share your email address and i will send you all the source code and the images as well now just change all these images so here is our output you can get this uh, result and now after this images after this row i am going to add the button in the end here we are going to add one more row and inside this row we are going to add the columns of six columns and inside that i am adding our button click for more The text will be center and the margin will be auto so we will get all the bu uh, the button in the center this is the best way to get uh, the button in the center you have to use the margin auto property right here and we also add the button one because we already designed this btn one inside our uh, css now let me just add some hover effect on all this btn one so whenever we hover on this btn one the background color will be changed from this RGB to another color we just want this effect the hover effect on this button so you can add any type of color any color right inside this uh, button and now we are going to add some transition whenever we hover on this uh, this changes background color in the specific time we add 0 0.5 seconds And now we are going to add the box shadow, the box shadow on this uh, boxes on these cards. This is the website you can use for box shadow generation. This is the automatic box shadow generator you can use in your project. So just copy this and paste it inside the cards, the card class. Whenever we hover on this card on the cards is create the box shadow effect so you can use you can see the output and now let me just add some transition we want the smooth effect on this uh, cards because whenever we hover on this cards it's generate the box shadow effect in the specific time so this is our uh, product section the trending section and now after that i am going to add one another section with the class of about so this is our another section that we are going to design in this section and as usual you have to add one container and one row and inside this row you have to decide how many columns you want how many columns you need so just copy this h6 because we add some css inside this h6 heading add the margin auto prop class because we want all this heading and the small heading and the big heading in the center we want all this content in the center whenever you are want to uh, uh, put all the content in the center you have to add margin auto property and after this row i'm taking one another row with the class of row and the four columns and you have to add the image and inside these four columns i am taking one image so this is our image and after that we have to add this uh, heading the h5 and after that uh, our detail paragraph you have to copy this and paste it inside this p tag you can use any type of heading and paragraph in your project so if you see the output so here you can see the output there is no padding and margin between this heading and the image so we have to add some margin bottom 3 because we want some uh, distance between this image and the heading and now just copy all these four columns and paste it three times because we want this three times with the three images now you can change the images and use any type of image or use one image by using different type of images you can see this is looking very beautiful so this is our about section that we design and after that uh, here we have to add some distance some padding and margin 
between this uh, image row and uh, the heading row so now if we see let me add this div right here and now if you see the output so here you can see we have some good padding and margin between this image row and the heading now you have to copy this row the button row and paste it after this uh, row because we already add this btm is one and you can see this uh, just change the label of this button because we already designed this btn1 in our css for another section you just have to copy and paste this uh, row the complete row and add some padding top and bottom so here is our output uh, and now we are going to design this store section we already designed these cards with the different images for that i am taking another section after this section <clears throat> the section with the class of shop and uh, as usual that we use uh, in another section the container the div with the class of container and after that you have to copy this complete row for the heading for the small heading and the big heading for this and add copy and paste this heading inside that by changing this heading so you will get the specific result that you want you can use any type of heading and paragraphs right here this is the organic food shop website so you can use any type of uh, heading related to food and online shopping and after this row or after this heading row we are going to add our cards for that let me just copy this complete row with the columns of 4 4 we use inside this uh, row we use four columns inside this row so just copy and paste the previous row and you will get the same result as you have so here you can see the result let me show you the result this is a uh, So here is our output. We want this type of output with the box shadow. We already add the box shadow on these cards. So here you can see and now we are going to just uh, if you want to change the images. I have limited images that, that's why I use just four images in this uh, trending and this store section. You can use multiple images different images and you can get all the images from the Pixabay dot com and pixel dot com and the free pick dot com so here is our another section and now we are going to add our another section we are going to design our next section the section with the class of apple the section that uh, the girl having an apple in the hand for that i am taking one apple pass and one container and inside this container i am taking one row Right inside this column six, I am taking the H1 tag. Tag for the H1, let's just copy this heading and paste it inside the H1 tag. And after that, we also want the small heading. So now, if you see the output, so this is our output without the image, the background image. You can remove this uh, style uh, properties from the H6 because we don't want the background color for the text and you can use the font weight for inside this H1 tag, the font weight property, the font weight class inside of this H1 tag. And after this H6 we have to add the button with the class of BTN1 because uh, in this BTN1 we already designed this BTN1 in our CSS. So we don't have to design uh, it again in our CSS. And if, after that, we have to add some padding and top inside this row and container. And the text will be white inside this section. For all the container, the text will be white. And now we are going to add the background image. For that, I am taking the class of Apple. Just copy this uh, Apple class. And now the background, the background URL. You can use any type of image right here. I am just using this image and with the repetition is none, no repetition and the background size will be covered. 
and as usual the height will be 80 vh you can use 100 vh or 70 vh and the width will always be 100 percent now we are going to add the background linear effect so here is our output you can see the output without the linear effect this heading is not visible that's why we are going to add the linear gradient effect linear gradient before the url and opening and closing tags and the comma inside this linear gradient and the url right here we have to add the rgb color now you can see the output this is looking very beautiful and the heading is also visible and after that we have to copy this font family and use inside this uh, apple h1 tag so here you can see this uh, output with the font family of different family and after that you can see the button that we already designed the button one and after that we are going to design this contact us section after this section i'm going to design i'm going to add this contact us section after this section first of all i'm taking one section with the class of contact and after that one more div with the class of uh, container make sure that you are using uh, correct spelling for the container and for the section and after that with div with the class of row and uh, one class with the column of five and inside that i'm using h1 for contact us and this heading six with the color of uh, red so let me just copy this heading the h6 and paste it right here and after that now if you see the output and after this row we are going to add our another row for the contact for the input sections that we have for the name and for the emails and inside this row I am taking one class of 9 columns and inside this 9 columns I am taking one more row and inside this row I am taking one class of 4 columns inside that we want this heading and this uh, paragraph for the address the location and after that the location heading and we are going to add the paragraph for the location the new york or where are you living you can add any tire any uh, address and after that the phone the phone number you can use any we are going to add this phone number and after that i am taking one more column for the column of six for the email let me just copy this uh, heading six the email and after that you can use any type of email of your email this is my email that i use inside this p tag so now if we refresh the output you will get the same uh, result because right here we are want to add some padding top and bottom for this class so here is uh, you can see the output this is not uh, looking good that's why we have to add uh, some changes and now if you see the output so here is our output you can see the output Just add margin auto class inside these five columns and the text will be centered. So here is our output, you can see the output. Now it's looking uh, kind of good. And after this uh, nine columns, the four columns, I'm going to add seven columns for the input section for the email and for the name and inside this in seven columns I'm taking one row because we want uh, this uh, input uh, for the name and for the email the six column for the input section of uh, 
first name so the class of form control and digilite whenever you're using input in the bootstrap you must have to use the form control class inside this input tag and after this row I'm taking one another row for the um, for the message for the text area after this row I'm taking another row with the columns of 12 for the large screen also using the form control class and the bg the background of this input section for this text area will be added this is our last name the placeholder with the last name and the first name we are going to add the placeholder inside this text area for enter your message so here is our output you can see the output we want some margin between these uh, columns so here you can see the output is looking more than more beautiful than our previous one that we already designed and after that we are going to design this uh, secret news lister section the footer section the section with the class of uh, contact the section with the class of news and one container and one row inside this row I am taking the uh, the columns of uh, 5 or 9 9 columns and inside that I am taking this join our secret news society heading 1 and after that we want the input section the placeholder and after that the button the white background button the btn2 because we are Design this BTN2 in our CSS. So here is our output. We are going to design this uh, input section and the button, the submit button in our CSS. Let me add the background color for this new section. The background color will be black. And the color of the text will be white for all this section. And now we are going to design this BTN tone. Here is our output, the button, and we are going to design our input section news to the class of news and the input inside this news class. So this is our output you can see this output with the heading and the button and the input section
and after this row I am taking one another row with the column of 3 3 because we want these four columns in, uh, inside this row Inside this row I am taking 11 columns because inside this 11 we want this row because we want this uh, fourth uh, columns uh, in the center and inside this row I am taking the class of columns 3 now just copy all this content and paste it in this uh, head heading and the p tags and this is uh, the output you can see but we want we don't want the padding the margin between this heading we have to add the margin zero so you can see the output and now just copy and paste and change the content and if you see the output and in the last column we have to add the social medias social media icons copy this uh, link I get this link from the font awesome website I'm using font awesome for the icons from the font awesome you can get any type of icon for your project whenever you are signing on the font awesome they will send you the link in the form of kit you have you must have always have to you always have to add the link inside the HTML tag inside the HTML file inside the heading tag and after that you have to copy the icons and now let me just add padding bottom 3 inside all these columns all this heading and now if you see the output so here is our icon very small size very font size is very small now we are going to add the font uh, font size for these icons just taking the first class the FAB and add the font size is 2.5 rem and the cursor whenever we cursor on these icons it create the pointer effect on that so here is our uh, icons that we used in this uh, section from the font awesome website and now after that I am going to add uh, the footer, the paragraph, the copyright footer section. For that, I am taking one HR tag for the line and just pasting this uh, paragraph inside the P tag after this all rows. Let me add the text center properties. So, here you can see the outputs, and this is all the website that we designed, and this is completely responsive. You can see the responsiveness of this website. And now we are going to add this uh, toggle button and I am going to add this toggle icon from the font awesome. Here I am going to add one uh, icon, the burger icon, the three lines, the toggle button icon, the hamburger icon inside this iconic toggler, the hamburger. So must make sure you are using the correct spelling. So here you can see the output and we also have to add some font size for this icon as well. The font size is uh, 2.5 rem and after that if you refresh you can see the output. So this website is completely responsive you can use uh, on your tablet mobile or any type of touch screen you can see this website is completely responsive. Ok guys for now this is all that we designed this website and if you want more videos from our uh, from our uh, channel you can visit my channel and practice all the other website designing videos. Thank you guys thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.